At number two, I know our fans aren't going to want to hear this, and they're going to say, pick Najee Harris. I got Joe Mixon here. 25 years old. I don't think he got nearly the credit he deserved for the run to the Super Bowl. A do-it-all running back as well, both uh, you know, running the football in the backfield, making catches. He's just reliable. He's a Pro Bowl player. Remember, Najee Harris was the replacement player. You know, I can't help but think of, okay, what would Najee do in Cincinnati system if you were to roll reverse them? But I like Joe Mixon a lot, and I don't think he's nearly talked about nearly enough in this league. And he is going to continue to reap the benefit of the attention that the star receivers, that the Bengals, the attention that the receivers draw. I've got Joe Mixon at number two. I could easily see this flipping with him and Najee Harris by season's end. But for the time being, you know, three of the last four seasons, you're giving me like 1,200 yards or better rushing on the ground. Give me Joe Mixon at number two. It's not going to be popular amongst our listeners and viewers, but that's who I got, and that's what I see. Yo, I'm going to take Najee. And, and, and it's a B. It's an A-plus with Joe Mixon. You can go A-plus, A-minus with Najee. So I really can't say you're wrong on this one, Mark. I'm not going to disagree too much. The reason why I'm going to go with Najee is who is my quarterback? So – now you have a mobile quarterback mm-hmm. in in Joe Burrow. Okay, who is my receiver? You had the all world Jamar Chase as receiver. It took a it took a it took a a room a wide receiver room for the Pittsburgh Steelers to do what Jamar Chase did last year as a whole. So that opens up a lot. Okay, tight ends. You can you can watch the tight ends. Pittsburgh have a good tight end in Fairmont, and and the Cincinnati Bengals has a good tight end as well. Okay, let's go offensive line. The offensive line, I would say you would cut it even. The offensive line for the Cincinnati Bengals last year and the Pittsburgh Steelers last year was probably wasn't what? Wasn't the top, you know, 15, top 10 offensive line in the mm-hmm. NFL. So, okay, how was the production of these running backs? Okay, you got a productive Najee Harris who we know the box was going to be full, meaning mm-hmm. there was going to be eight to nine in the box. You know, coming out of Cincinnati – Joe Burrow would dare you to load the box because Jamar and T. Higgins would have a field day if you did. So that's why I'm going I'm to go to slight nudge with, with Najee because he finished strong at the end of the season, Mark. And this is no disrespect to, to, to Mixon. Mixon is a dog. I like Mixon a lot. It's just he had more offensive weapons. The box wasn't loaded as much, and I like the way Najee finished the season off. I, I want to see what Najee can do with improved offensive line play young up front a year ago, still young, but they at least have some more game experience, which I think is very, very valuable. Only fumbled once all season long that came in the playoff game and he led the NFL in touches. He's in, even as a rookie I, for him to stay healthy, 381 touches. It's something I want to see the Steelers actually cut down a little bit. Correct. We've talked Correct. a lot about how we want to see the Robin established to Najee's Batman, but Joe Mixon, Najee Harris, uh, you know, I don't think you could really go wrong either way. One thing, too, I like with Mixon a little, a little bit more, too, is I think he's a little bit faster. Najee's longest run in the 2021 season, 37 yards. But, Ike, I think that goes back to your point of teams loading up the box, seven, eight defenders in the box. It's hard to find the crease, find the hole, and, and take one the distance when teams are keying on you as they consistently were with Najee Harris last season. 